All right, so we just saw a video on how you can solve exponential equations that have a common base. Um, what's different about this example is we have the equation 17 is equal to 4 to the x power, and we can't rewrite both sides of this equation with a common base. So that's what makes this example different. There is no common base for us to work with. If the bases were the same, we could set the exponents equal to each other and solve that equation. So what do we do? Um, we can rewrite this um, with a base of 10. So what we can do is we can say 10 raised to the log of 17 power is equal to 10 raised to the log of 4 to the x power. And now we have a common base. So again, you know, manipulating how it looks when you have that common base on both sides, now our exponents will be equal to each other. So we can say log of 17 is equal to log of 4 to the x power. So essentially, if you look back at the original equation, the easiest way to solve this is finding a common base set your exponents equal to each other. When that's not the case, um, this middle step right here, we can jump right to this, and essentially we are taking the log of both sides of that equation, and then we can work with that. So how can we write this equation using logarithms? Just like that. That brings us to a property of equality for logarithmic equations. If x is greater than zero, then log base b of x equals log base b of y if and only if x is equal to y. So if you notice in this property we have um, log with the same base, so log base b, log base b um, of x on this side, of y on that side. That is true if x is equal to y and that's essentially what we ended up writing up there.